Hunters can import trophies of animals, including polar bears and reindeer, under a limited number of government licences, but not ivory from elephants and rhinos and hippos. And you're trying to change that? I'm trying to change that. I think that the public overwhelmingly, something like 85 per cent, think that this is a uh, vile trade. Like you, they don't understand why people would want to, want to do this. But it also is endangering species. And the government, back in 2019, said it. They've done the benefit. They had a consultation that finished in February 2020. They just need to get onto it. My bill is designed to either get them to adopt that and move forward or to bring forward their own bill very quickly. Put a stop to this vile trade. And you suggest that those engaging in it should face up to seven years in jail. Well, I think some, some of this, of course, also is organised crime getting involved in, uh, in this as well. And that's a concern also with a whole number of areas of uh, transporting uh, dead or alive or live animals and birds around, around, around the world. But certainly I think we ought to up the penalties on this, make very clear this is not acceptable. And actually, I hope set a benchmark for other countries to follow. Who does this? Who engages in it? How big a problem is it? It's a, a significant problem, and uh, that's why uh, many of the uh, newspapers have been conducting investigation and campaigns. Lord Ashcroft, previous treasurer of the Conservative Party, um, did an undercover investigation uh, for uh, those who were breeding animals, especially to get them up to a stage where people could shoot them, you know, within cages or, or almost. It is extraordinary that people want to do that. But one thing that obviously they like to do, seem to like to do is to bring their trophies back to this country. I don't think we want this. I don't think the public want it.